Hello friends, based on my career span in UI UX domain, today I would be sharing a very helpful tips about UX designer interview questions and answers. If you are preparing for a UX designer interview, then it helps to know some of the most frequent asked questions you will face. In this video, I will cover seven of the most common UX designer interview questions along with the examples and answers and interviewing tips so you can make a great first impression during your next interview. So before I start, one request, watch this video till the end to get a real insight about UX interview questions and answers. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon for similar UX informative videos and hit the like icon if you like the video. So let's start. So here's the first question. What is your understanding about UX process? So as an answer, make sure you explain about UX process followed in UX design. It may happen that you haven't worked on each and every step of the UX process. That's totally fine. But make sure to touch on so the interviewer knows you're familiar with UX process. So if you see in this diagram, so these are the UX process that you follow in research, analyze, prototype, design and deliver. So in research, you see what are the parameters or what are the steps that you follow, right? Stakeholder interviews, user interviews, contextual inquiries, and etc. Same in the analyze section and prototype design and deliver. So the next question would be, what are laws of UX? So as an answer, laws of UX is a collection of best practices that a designers can consider when building UI. So you can refer this site lawsofux.com. It consists of all the heuristics principle. You can see my earlier video where I have covered all the heuristics principles with the examples and the UX principles, Gestalt principles. So the next and the most important questions or most commonly asked question is what is the difference between UI and UX? So UX and UI are two interdependent terms while UI generally deals with interaction between users and computer systems, softwares and applications. Whereas UX deals more generally with users overall experience with a brand product or service. So in this example, if you see the difference clearly laid out between UI and UX, UX on the left hand side and UI on the right hand side at high level. To know more in detail, you can watch the video that I've created earlier about the difference between UI and UX with the simple examples. Another important question, how do you handle negative feedback? Just mention that you are open to all types of feedback as it helps to improve your design and at the same time you become a better UX designer. Here's a few examples of feedback you may have received in your past projects and how you handle that. Take the client and stakeholders feedback very assertively and share your thoughts suggestions in a constructive manner. Next question what do you follow for your UX inspiration and why? So when interviewers ask you where you find your inspiration or what blogs, magazines, etc. you read to stay up to date on current trends and best practices, they want to see what motivates you and they want to know what you are eager to keep learning. So talk about your favorite design blogs. If you're not following any blogs right now, that needs to change. So here are a few of your favorites that you can follow. So the first one is NN Group site. In this site, there are a lot of articles and videos covered pertaining to the UX design process methodologies. It also covers different sections of UX like usability, visual design, user process. Okay. And the next one is uxdesign.cc. It covers on daily basis, we get updates on the new trends of the UX design methodologies, process, some articles, you can go through that. Next one is UI8, my favorite. So this is more towards your creating your components or understanding the new trends in design uh, in mobile app or in a web application. Another one is medium.com, similar to uxdesign.cc. It covers the articles on daily basis. You get the updates on the UX methodologies and best practices that you can follow. So what is Agile UX? This would be a very interesting question that you may be asked in your interview. So for an answer, 
Agile UX brings agile software development together with the product and interaction design done by UX specialist. It embeds a UX expert on the agile team and requires understanding and valuing the UX role. This means allotting time and budget for all UX full process, including research and testing. So in this example, the agile methodology, wherein teams like UX, backend, frontend team would be involved. So the first part of your sprint is planning, then design, then build, then test, then review, and then launch that particular module. So the last question, what are some favorite websites and apps whose design you love and why? So take some time to think about your favorite websites and apps and why you like them. What makes them user friendly? Do they inspire your design wise? And if so, how and why? So here are my two favorites website, but you may have a different website, your favorite website. So for example, Google and Apple. So Google and Apple, to me, it has very good UX design and it has a very good function. So not just from aesthetic standpoint, but Google is perfect example. You really can't get more user friendly than page with one search area. An Apple website, whereas it has very aesthetic and the information architecture is laid very beautifully in this site. So you can browse through their various products easily with following that more details about their products, their videos, specifications and features. So to conclude, when it comes to interview, it's impossible to overstate the importance of preparation. So make sure you research about the company and its values and its goals. Research about the people that will be interviewing with. And most importantly, know the job description and its requirements inside. So once again, thank you for watching this video and please share your comments if you have any, any queries or hit the like button if you have liked the video.